Bentornati. So I have to tell you, I have a confession. Right before we went live, I'm scanning all of my items that I'm using tonight for tonight's dish and realize that there is a whole lot of fish missing out of the bowl that I had previously, well, the, that I had chopped. I'm like, uh, I know I had more fish and I know I chopped up more. Apparently, when I left the kitchen for a couple of minutes to go get my computer, the dog helped himself to the cod. So um, we have a whole lot less fish than what this recipe calls for. But anyway, welcome. It's great to have you all here. And tonight's dish is bacala con patate al forno. So essentially it's cod. And so most of what happens tonight happens in the oven, which is cool. I've already prepped the ingredients. So I want to talk a little bit and tell you a little more about cod. So the cod I'm using tonight for this recipe was frozen, previously frozen. If you buy cod in Italy, generally it comes salted. And in fact, you can find it in several places around the US. I can get it at the Italian market, salted cod. And I know on the East Coast that salted cod is readily available. The thing with salted cod is it requires some planning because it needs to soak for a couple of days in water before you can use it. So you have to leach all the salt out of the cod and that's how it's preserved. So I'm using frozen because I wasn't going to spend two days during a remember to leach all the salt out of the cod, just FYI. So one other thing I want to say about the cod is um, one of my Italian-American friends, Rosalind, who I met several years ago in an Italian immersion class in, near Siena. Actually, we were in Siena. Anyway, she um, posted a comment on Facebook about they had bacala every Friday evening for dinner. And she didn't get the recipe from her mom. And so she's interested in seeing how I'm going to prepare the bacala. This is a pugliese dish, which um, Dina taught me. It's her recipe. And so back to the Rosalind story, the whole point of, and one of the big motivations and reasons that I do Dini de Pew is for people who didn't get the recipes from their Nona or their moms or their bisnona. That's what Dini de Pew is all about, sharing those recipes and those traditions and those stories that some of us lost when we immigrated, when our families immigrated, when our ancestors immigrated to the U.S. So that's what I want to say about the bacala in this particular recipe. The other thing I want to say about this recipe is the first time I made it, I actually was in Italy when I made it, and I was making things and videoing for the Dini de Pew and I had Dina and Vito taste it. So I want to tell you, it's a little nerve wracking to cook a recipe, share a recipe with somebody who like created the recipe. So that was a little unnerving, but it turned out okay. Okay, so now um, I'm going to pull out what I prepared earlier out of the oven because I noticed it was getting a little a dark on the top, um, indicating that it might be a little overdone, or at least burnt. Mostly I think what it is is my oven. There's something up with the oven. Um, I'm thinking I'm looking for an excuse to get a new one or something. So anyway, here we go. Pull this out, and then y'all can see what we're aiming for to tonight. And so it smells amazing. Oh, and it looks amazing. So let me get this out of the oven so there's going to be room for the new dish once we put that together. And this will cool down a little bit. Oh, oops, I'm stuck. Holy moly. So let me show you what we have here. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Look at that. A nice little crusty. There's a little moisture in there from the fish. Okay, let's put this over <laughs> on the stove top to keep... Well, the dog's outside right now. The dog's going to be punished. Well, he's not really going to get punished. But he's going to get a little less food tonight. I'm going to tell you that. So if you um, have a beverage, get one. It's always fun to have a little beverage while you're cooking. And then we're going to jump right in. And we're going to start with a little olive oil in the bottom. 
of our casserole. And we're, oh, here it is. Here it is. So let's do this so y'all can see what I have going on here. So a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the casserole. There we go. Gonna give it a little whirly spurly. That's a new cooking term, by the way. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of chopped celery in the bottom. There we go, a little bit. And then I'm using the small tomatoes because I think they have more flavor and they're readily available this time of year. It's hard to, as we all know, finding fresh, yummy, tasty tomatoes in the grocery store can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. So there's that and a little flat leaf parsley, also known as pretzemolo. And let's sprinkle a few little leaves of that on top. And, and you can see, whoa, that was a little overdoing it. And you can see, look how colorful that is. And we must have pepper. And we must have some salt, a nice healthy dose of salt. Perfect. And now you can see I already sliced these potatoes and I used a mandolin. Again, that thing is a bomb because all of the potatoes are going to be the same size, which means they'll cook evenly and at the same time. So we're just going to layer some sliced potatoes on top of our tomatoes, celery, and flat leaf Italian parsley. Do another little one there, get a nice little layer of potato, voila. And then the cod that I had previously cut up into little pieces. So that gets sprinkled on top of the potatoes. This is gonna be super quick tonight because the oven does all the work. So we'll throw the cod in here. And the prepping didn't take really all that much time. This is like an awesome, quick, yummy little comfort food casserole Sunday evening kind of meal. So there's a layer of the cod here. And then I'm going to do a little more of the pretzimoto, also known as parsley, and a little more of the celery. There we go. And then we're going to do another layer of the potatoes. And I'm checking out to make sure I don't forget any of this. Yeah, so more potatoes. You know, just kind of covering the layer below. And I'm using, again, Yukon Gold potatoes. I like the way they bake up and cook up. And these, and I'm using about, about two average sized potatoes. So it's 400 grams, which is the same amount that I'm using or initially started with the cod before the dog ate it. So there's a little layer of potato and again, another bit of salt. Season, season, a little salty salt. And I'm gonna do a little more pepper. There we go, voila. And then um, here's one of the cool little thing that we're gonna finish with. I really like doing this. It is, um, did, you put to did I put tomatoes in there? Yeah, I did, it was right down there. And now I'm like beginning to question myself. So potato, <laughs> potato, breadcrumbs and grated pecorino is gonna go on top of this casserole. And one of the cool things about this technique is I'm gonna put the breadcrumbs right in with the cheese so that there's like this interesting kind of mixture of breadcrumbs with the cheese so that it's even on the top and makes this beautiful crust when it's all finished and been baked in the oven, which I showed you earlier. So here you go. We're gonna give this a little tossy toss. And um, speaking of which, just a little toss. Um, I should have known something was up. This is also the second batch of 
pecorino that I needed to grate tonight. My dog not only likes raw cod, but he polished off a whole dish of grated pecorino. So here we go. And now we're going to just put that on top of the potatoes, kind of create a little ceiling that will melt and become a nice crunchy little crust. There we go. Um, yeah, he ate a lot of the fish. I can tell by how much room there's left in this casserole dish as compared to the one I previously made to show his demo. So there we go. There's the top. Salt and pepper, potatoes, a little celery, a little bit of uh, tomatoes, and flat leaf parsley. And of course, we got to finish it off with a healthy dose and drizzle of olive oil on the top before it goes into the oven. There we go. Yum, yum. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And before this whole kit and caboodle goes into the oven, we're going to add a little water into the casserole. This will help steam the potatoes and make sure that the fish is steaming on in the inside and there we go drizzle a little bit of water on the side and i'm using about 100 milliliters which is around a half a cup i think it's about a half a cup yeah a half a cup and the amount of fish that i used was 14 ounces 400 grams which is almost a pound and i found that frozen and the market just thawed it out yesterday, and that's it. That's it. That's all there is to prepare this yummy, authentic, pugliese bacala. Bon appetito. But this is going in the oven. Don't go anywhere yet because we're going to taste the one that I did an hour ago. Okay, so let's pop this in the oven. And now let's bring over the baked casserole and take a peek at it oh here we go yum look at that crusty crust on there and let's get a spatula and do a little taste test on this Ooh, oh yeah that's a good sign it means the potatoes are done they're going right this spatula is going right through the potatoes. I think I'm going to need a spoon to scoop this out. It's kind of juicy. Juicier than I remembered. Okay, so here we go. A little scoop. Put that out on the plate. Oh, and look at the colors. Look at that. A little tomato. You see the cod in there and the potatoes all nice and steamy. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm going to get bite of the potato and a bite of the cod and a little bit of the crusty top. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is really good. It's so crazy to me how delicious simplicity tastes. Mmm. The potatoes are cooked through. There's a little um, tang from the tomato. Oh my gosh, this is really good. Either that or I'm super hungry, which I am super hungry. Mm. Yum. Bon appetito. And remember, when you try these dishes, post your photos on Facebook and then tag Dimi Dupuy. Also, you can find the whole recipe with photos of the various steps on DimiDupuy.com. Bon appetito. Bona serata. Ad. Settimana!